What's up, fellow advertiser? My name is Nick George, and I'm the founder of My Advertiser Online. I'm really excited because today I'm going to show you how to create a Bing ad campaign in only 10 minutes. As you can see, I am certified as a Bing ads professional. But another reason why I'm really excited today is I just discovered a new keyword research technique. It's really awesome, and it's going to save y'all a ton of time. I just wanted to make sure I could share it with you. As I log in to the campaign manager, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please do so now. This gives you plenty of time to do it. Once we get here, we're going to click create campaign. We're going to create a campaign based around visits to my website. Now let's name our campaign. Mine's going to be SEO. Uh, choose a budget. Ours is going to be $20 a day choose a language, English. Now you want to choose a specific location. So for me, I offer my services in Houston, Texas. So we're going to go ahead and target Houston. I'm going to up the radius to 30 miles. Hit done. Uh, as far as who should see your ads, you want to deselect the bottom one here and leave the top one selected, then hit save and go to next step. Here, we're going to name our ad group. Now, if you're not familiar with how to structure your ad groups, make sure you check out my other video on Google AdWords. I'll touch up on that briefly, but in this video, I don't have time to go over it because I want to show you guys this keyword research technique. So let's get to it. When doing keyword research with Bing or Google, you can also use the same technique. Go on to, to any search engine, type in whatever keyword you're looking to rank for. So for me, let's type in SEO Houston. Go to one of your competitors, copy the URL. Um, go up here to tools on the campaign manager, click keyword planner, open link and new tab. Hit the search for new keywords using a phrase, website or category. You're gonna enter your competitor's landing page right here in this section. Now, the other important thing is you wanna make sure that you have your targeted locations correct. So. You don't want this to be United States or worldwide either. So let's hit get suggestions and check this out. Okay. It brings up all kinds of keywords based on what my competitors are ranking for. And not only that based around what their page actually is for. So here's, here's uh, some really good ones right here. Houston SEO expert. So let's go ahead and choose that, add that to our campaign. Let's see. Now, for your first campaign, if you notice, you want to make sure you choose keywords that, yes, have a high average monthly search, but also have a low to medium competition rate. As you get better at slinging ads, you can always come back in and try and compete with the big dogs. Go ahead and compete with the, the high competition ones. So let's continue doing a few of these keywords here. So SEO services. So I'm only going to choose these four since I only have 10 minutes to make the video, but you guys get the picture. Uh, you can do that with several websites and make sure you get some really good keywords, add them into your campaign. So we'll, after you're done adding your keywords in, click save and go to next step. This is where we're going to create our first ad. So we're going to do an expanded text ad. Make sure that you leave that, that there like this. It's going to end up looking something like this. Um, the final URL is the actual landing page that the clicker is gonna end up on. So for me, it's gonna be this. If you're using the same URL for mobile, go ahead and just plug that in there as well. If you have a different URL, then you'll wanna put your mobile URL down here. Uh, Bing Ads, just like AdWords, has two headline titles. You wanna make sure that both of them make sense separately because sometimes Bing will only show one and you don't want your ad to look like you don't know how to speak English or write English. But let's go ahead. As you can see, Houston SEO Professionals 2017, 10x your revenue this year. So both of those make perfect sense on their own. Uh, so we're going to continue with that free roadmap. The path is just another opportunity for you to try and grab your, your viewers' attention and get them to click on the ad. Okay, it doesn't have to match your final URL. Uh, it can be anything that you'd like it to be. As far as your ad text, this is where you're going to write some compelling content 
something that after you grab their attention with your headline, now they're going to read, read your ad text here. And you want to make sure that this is going to get them to click on your ad. Okay. So we'll do save. Uh, one thing I want to touch up on before time is up is all these ad extensions because this is what's going to make your ad really great. It's going to stand out more than your competition. Not many people actually go into putting in the effort and actually creating these things. So you have site link extensions and site link extensions look something like this down here. There are clickable links and you can actually take your clicker to a different page on your website or you can take them to the same landing page. It's up to you. Whenever you go to add a new one in, it's going to ask you right here, the link text, the description, and you definitely want to put in your descriptions here. And then it's going to show you uh, the landing page. You can do your final URL or you can choose your destination URL here and enter a new one. Just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Uh, call out extension. This is an extension that's going to allow you to... Uh, use words to explain why your company is different or why it's unique. And that this right here is a call out extension. That way you get an idea. This right here is a call out extension as well. So you can have two examples of what it looks like. Uh, it's really easy to set up. You'll just hit add new call out extension and go through the process. Um, as far as structured snippet extensions, this is very similar to call out extensions. Um, a structured snippet is going to look like this right here. Or no, not this. It's going to look like this one right here. And a structured snippet. Generally, advertisers are going to use this section to explain what type of brands maybe your store carries. They'll use it to explain um, some services that you offer. For example, right here, best SEO marketing services, SEO consulting services, India. Um, so those are just two ideas as far as what you could use a structured snippet extension for. And the last four extensions, the options that you have, you have your location extension, and this is going to display your address to someone that searches uh, for your keyword nearby, as long as they're within a 50 mile radius of your location. And it's actually going to pop up with a little get directions link. Uh, I don't have an example here, but it'll pop up with the get directions link similar to this. And uh, the searcher can actually click the link. It'll get take them to getting directions. So it's just another opportunity to get people to click on your ad. Um, app extensions. If your company has an application out on the market, you can put this out there in order to help drive some app installs or to get your clicker to open up your page in the app if they already have your app. Um, call extensions. Call extensions is, is really great, especially if you're looking to track your phone calls from your ads. Um, mobile users nowadays, I, I forget the statistics, but I know that whenever you go on and you search, you'll see the ads where it says call now. Okay, that's what these call extensions are gonna look like. The, when they hit the call now button, you can actually forward a phone number through Bing. And this is going to allow you to track everyone that hits those buttons. So you definitely want to make sure you add some call extensions. Uh, your review extensions, if you have positive reviews or good reviews on third-party websites, such as Yelp, Facebook, any other website that, that offers reviews, um, this allows you to quote one of the reviews and add that as an extension onto your ad as well. So let's click Save and go to Next Step. Just double check your campaign budget is correct. We're going to leave that at $20 per day. Uh, as far as your bid strategy, we're going to do manual CPC, which is use my bid. And we're going to leave that at $1. That's our max cost per click bid. Um, in the advanced campaign settings, this part right here is for bid adjustments. You don't really need to make any of these changes right now. Now in the future, once you collect some data, you definitely want to go back in and optimize your ad by making some bid adjustments. Just make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm going to do a video on how to do that. Uh, I don't want you guys to miss out, so, so make sure you stay tuned. Um, as far as the other settings, the ad distribution, we want to make sure we only do Bing, AOL, and Yahoo Search only. Now, once you get a little bit more experience and you make some money off your ad, you can come back in here and you can mess around with other options if you'd like to do that. So let's hit save. And we're done.
So our ad just has to be approved by Bing. Once it's approved, they'll start serving it. If any of you guys have any questions related to this video, just feel free to drop me a comment. I'll be more than happy to get back with you as soon as possible. Uh, other than that, happy ad slinging. I hope you guys make a lot of money.